So we have the expression 17 and 4 ninths minus 12 and 2 thirds. And I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can figure out what this is. So now let's work through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these mixed numbers. So I'm going to write this as 17 and 4 ninths minus 12 and 2 thirds. So I'm going to write the 12 right under the 17, and I'm going to write the 2 thirds right under the 4 ninths. Let me make it very clear. We are subtracting 12 and 2 thirds from 17 and 4 ninths. So the first thing that we might want to do is we could look at the fraction parts, and we might want to start subtracting until we see, look, we have different denominators here. We have ninths and we have thirds. So the first thing we'd want to do is let's get to a common denominator. And a good common denominator would be the least common multiple of 9 and 3. Well, what's that going to be? Well, to think, think about that, I like to start with the larger number, 9, and say, well, is that divisible by 3? Well, yes, it is divisible by 3. It is divisible by the other denominator. So this actually is the least common multiple. If it wasn't, I would keep taking higher and higher multiples of 9. I'd go to 18, and then I would go to 27. And I would keep going until I found one that's divisible by 3. But I didn't have to do that because 9 is divisible by 3. So I can rewrite both of these fraction parts as, as in terms of ninths. Now, the one on top already is written in terms of ninths, so I can just rewrite that. 17 and 4 ninths. And the one on the bottom, I can write as 12 and some number of ninths. So 2 thirds is how many ninths? Well, to go from thirds to ninths, I had to multiply by 3. I had to multiply by 3. So the numerator, I need to multiply by 3 as well. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 thirds is the same thing as 6 ninths. And now I can try to subtract. But even here, when I try to subtract, I, I have a larger fraction down here that I'm trying to subtract from a smaller one. I have 4 ninths minus 6 ninths. So what can I do? Well, the answer is I can regroup. I can take a whole from the 17. Let me do that. So if I take a whole from the 17, that's going to become 16. And then that whole that I just took from, I guess you could say the whole number place, I can add it to the fraction. Well, a whole is just going to be 9 ninths. So all I did is I regrouped here. I took 9 ninths from 17. 9 ninths is 1. So I took 9 ninths from 17. I'm left with 16. And then I regrouped them and I added them to the fractions place is one way to think about it. Well, what's 4 ninths plus 9 ninths? Well, that's going to be 13 ninths. So this right over here is 13 ninths. 13 ninths. It's a very strange way to write it, but 17 and 4 ninths is the same thing as 16 and 13 ninths. Because notice, this is greater than 1. This is the same thing as 1 and 4 ninths. 1 and 4 ninths plus 16 is going to be 17 and 4 ninths. Now, why did I do all of this? Well, 13 ninths is larger than 6 ninths, so I can subtract. What's 13 ninths minus 6 ninths going to be? Well, 13 of something, in this case ninths, minus 6 of that same something is going to be 7 ninths. 7, let me write that in a neutral color. So that's going to be 7 ninths. 13 ninths minus 6 ninths is 7 ninths. And then I can look over in the whole number place. All I have left is 16 here. 16 minus 12 is 4. And I'm done. 17 and 4 ninths minus 12 and 2 thirds is equal to 4 and 7 ninths.